Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Fusion Station. Uh, I hope you all are doing great. Okay, let's start the video. Uh, today we are going to cover about uh, IPsec side-to-side -side VPN. Uh, first, we will cover the agenda. Uh, what are the points that we are going to discuss? So first we will see what is side-to-side -side VPN, then the network topology, what are the pre-configuration checklists that we need to uh, take care of before the configuration part. Then after we will configure the IPsec tunnel on the head office and the branch office. Uh, during the configuration part, uh, we will also check uh, what are the site uh, IPsec policies uh, that we can select in, in, uh, in the configuration part. Then we will also cover the rules and configuration and in the end we will perform some testing and verification just to confirm uh, whether the traffic is being forwarded via the tunnel or not. Okay, uh, so our first point is uh, what is site-to-site -site VPN and uh, why do we need to use it? So currently I am hoping uh, you know or aware about it and uh, but let me just give some uh, small intro about it. As it names implies uh, side to side means point to point communication, but uh, that uh, point to point communication is being happened over the internet. So to secure that uh, traffic between site A to site B, uh, we we are using this side to side VPN tunnel uh, to encrypt the data so that uh, if someone uh, tries to snoop the traffic, uh, he will just get the encrypted traffic and uh, not able to understand what exactly passing through that uh, tunnel. If you want to get the overview of a side to side VPN, you can Google it. And I have also made a document uh, that I have uh, shared on my Telegram channel that you can uh, join and access all the resources from there, uh, which are freely available. And I will provide my telegram uh, channel link in the video description so you can just access all those resources. Uh, now let's start the configuration part. Okay, so in my lab environment, uh, I have uh, two firewalls. Uh, the first one is head office and uh, the second one is branch office. Uh, to give you the better clarity in terms of uh, network topology, I have uh, this particular diagram where you can see that uh, on the left side we have Sophos head office firewall and on the right hand side we have branch office firewall so on the head office firewall uh, we have local subnet that is 192.168.2.0 which is connected to port A of the firewall on the right hand side we have a branch office firewall local network uh, where it's local DMZ subnet is 192.168.92.0 which is further connected to port C interface of the branch office firewall. Before starting the tunnel configuration, uh, we need to make sure the IPsec service should be enabled for the WAN zone. So on this uh, head office firewall, you can see that uh, the IPsec service is unchecked for the WAN zone and same you can see its status on the branch office firewall it is also showing its status as unchecked so let's enable this service for van zone on both the firewalls before starting the configuration okay so here you can see that the ipsec service has been enabled for the van zone on the head office as well as on the branch office firewall if it is unchecked for the van zone on both the firewalls or any one of these firewalls the tunnel may not get established so this is the important point before starting the tunnel configuration on the head office firewall uh, we just need to make sure we have noted down the pan interface ip address and the same thing we need to apply for the branch office because the WAN interfaces IPs are going to be used for the for the gateway connection. It is important to note them in advance so that we can directly use them in the configuration part. On the head office firewall, let's navigate the side to side VPN and under IPsec module, just click add. Here you can define any appropriate name. So I'm just going to use head office to branch office. 
under IP version we are going to use uh, for IPv version 4 then select the same connection type would be side to side gateway type so we have two options here respond only or initiate the connection so this this head office firewall is going to be configured as responder so we will select it as respond only then we have the encryption section uh, where we need to select the profile so i'm just going with the default profile that is ike version 2 however if you want you can also select the appropriate file so in this case we have uh, selected the gateway type as uh, respond only so you can select the default uh, head of his profile as well and if you want to configure the custom profile you can also create that one and select it over here after creating it so currently i'm just going with the ik version 2 profile then after we have authentication type uh, which authentication method you want to opt for the authentication purpose so in this video we are just going to use with the appreciate key and then define that appreciate key over here okay so under the gateway settings uh, it will ask you about the local gateway and the remote gateway so local gateway would be our port b that is our WAN interface on the head office firewall and your remote gateway would be the WAN interface ip of the branch office firewall so on the right hand side you can see that the port interface ip address is 192.168.179.138 so define the same ip over here then it will ask for the local id type and the remote id type so this is an additional parameter you can say that would be used uh, uh, before establishing the tunnel and uh, these two parameters would be uh, authenticated before the tunnel establishment so currently i'm not going to use it so i will keep it as it is then after we need to select the local and the remote subnet so on this firewall our local subnet would be uh, 192.168.2.0 and our remote subnet would be uh, this one 92 series so the same one we can define it over here so once these gateway settings are defined then just simply click save and click ok so here you can see that ipsec connection head office to branch office channel has been added successfully on the branch office firewall, uh, I have uh, already configured this uh, IPsec side to side tunnel and its name is BO2HO and uh, the same settings I have applied which we applied it in the head office but uh, with some discrepancies like uh, here on the branch office firewall we have selected the gateway type as initiate the connection apart from that uh, you can notice that we have selected its uh, local WAN interface IP and their gateway address is the same one that we are using it on the head office firewall apart from this one uh, on this head office firewall we have defined its local subnet that is 92.0 and and their remote subnet that is 2.0 after mentioning all these details uh, just click save uh, there is one more option that i forgot to mention while creating the tunnel in the head of this firewall uh, you can also notice that uh, there are two options here activate on save or create firewall tool so once you click on this uh, activate on save the tunnel will try to establish it but uh, we have unchecked it so we are going to enable it manually the second option is create firewall rule so in case if you want to configure the firewall rules automatically for this ipsec side to side tunnel then you can uh, check this option otherwise you will have to manually create those rules okay so after defining all the parameters on this branch of his firewall uh, just click save okay so here you can see that uh, on head office and branch of his firewalls we have created the tunnels and here you can see their status uh, both are in the inactive states so we will just enable them one by one so let's start it from the head office firewall just activate on it now activate the tunnel on the initiator firewall 
Okay, so here you can see that uh, the tunnel status uh, started showing as active on both the firewalls. Now just let's check the rules that we have selected to create automatically. So first navigate to rules and policy in the branch office firewall. Uh, here you can see that uh, this particular rule IPsec BO2HO has been automatically created and this was created under the group name automatic VPN rules. The same thing you can check it in the head office firewall by navigating rules and policies under automatic VPN rule groups. Here you can notice that IPsec head office to branch office tunnel rule has been successfully created. After validating the rules on both the firewalls, now we will check the traffic flow, whether are we able to reach from head office local subnet to branch office DMZ subnet or not. So in this case, we are going to initiate the traffic from the source IP that is 192.168.2.10, which is connected behind the head office firewall. And from there, we will try to reach out to 192.168.92.129 uh, machine address, which is connected to branch office DMZ subnet. As per the network diagram, uh, we are going to initiate the traffic uh, from head office local machine that is 192.168.2.10. Uh, so first we can validate its IP address by executing the command ipconfig. So here you can notice that uh, this machine IP address is 2.10 and this machine is going to initiate the traffic and will reach out to the remote subnet machine whose IP address is 192.168.92.129. So before starting or initiating the traffic, uh, let me just show you the filter that we can define in the firewall. So just navigate to diagnostics and select the packet capture. Here you can configure this particular host of the destination on this head office firewall where we want to reach out. So the destination IP address I have defined as 92.129 and the protocol I have defined is ICMP. After defining this, just click save. In the branch office firewall, I have already defined the capture for the source IP address because this is the destination firewall from where we are going to receive the traffic from for the initiator one. So here I have defined the initiator IP that is 2.10 and the protocol would be the same that is ICMP and then click save. So on both the firewalls head office and branch office we will enable this capture first. And same you can apply for the branch office. So now we have enabled the packet capture on both the firewalls. Now let's initiate the traffic. So once we will initiate the traffic under this uh, packet capture utility, uh, we will notice that the house the traffic is going via the IP sector. So let me just ping the IP 192.168.92.129, which is the remote subnet IP. Okay, so here you can notice that we are getting the ping response from the remote subnet machine. Now let's check the status on this head office firewall. Uh, using this packet capture utility, we can understand how the traffic is going out. So just refresh this one. Then after you will get its status. So here you can see that. Uh, okay, so whenever you will analyze this packet capture utility, always start your analysis from bottom to top. And uh, here you can see that we have multiple packets. So you can just pick any one of the requests that is coming from this machine IP 2.10. And here you can see that the request is coming from 2.10 and its in interface IP is port A and looking for the destination IP that is 92.129 and its status is showing as incoming. Once the packet is received by the firewall, here you can see that the request is going out via the out interface that is IPsec0 and once the request is being sent out via the IPsec0 tunnel interface for the same destination IP 92.129 it will uh, show its status as forwarding it means the traffic is coming via the port 8 interface but it is going out via the IPsec0 tunnel interface IP. 
Now we can also check the status on the branch of his firewall. Just refresh it. Here you can also notice the request is coming in via the IPsec 0 interface and its status is also showing as incoming. So once the request is received by this branch of his firewall for the destination IP 92.129, it was forwarded out using the out interface that is port C. So this port C was our DMZ zone and here you can see the destination IP is also showing as 92.129 and its status is forwarding so it simply indicates like the request is being received via the in interface as ipsec0 and after uh, receiving and uh, processing that request message using the uh, help of uh, firewall rules uh, it was forwarded out using the port c which is our dmc interface and apart from this you can also see when it is forwarding the request at that time uh, what was the rule id that was being used so here you can see the rule id was being used as one so we can also validate it what is uh, rule id number one so earlier we checked that we had created automatic vpn rules uh, so so that rule id is showing as one so using this rule the traffic is being reached out to the destination subnet so this way we can configure uh, ipsec side to side tunnel so i hope uh, you found this video helpful and uh, for your reference i will share all the relevant documents uh, in the video description so you can just uh, check them out and in case if you have any query just uh, drop a comment and if you really like this video just uh, like and subscribe this channel so that you will get uh, uh, such more informative content regarding this Sophos firewall and other networking concept in future. Until then, take care of self. Have a great day. Goodbye.